Oh, praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechak Kodash, and uh, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Drew Rule Will, and salute, man, much love to you, sense of brothers who push this truth week in and week out, man, y'all brothers stay strong, we almost home, man, and uh, you see the guy on your screen, man, it, it's, it's, this man here is basically, or was basically, a spirit created for vengeance, man, Mr. Uh, Maury Travis. From St. Louis. This man was a serial killer. Known as the. Uh, Street Walker Strangler. And he was killing. Prostitutes. Crack whores. Because most of the prostitutes out there. That he was killing was uh, crackheads. Probably all of them was crackheads. But he was killing them and dumping their bodies. man, On the side of the roads. Over in Illinois. And over here in St. Louis, Missouri. man. Because if you know St. Louis. You know you can easily just cross the bridge. You know. You cross the bridge and be Illinois in a matter of minutes, you know what I'm saying? East St. Louis, Cahokia, etc. You know? But uh Yeah, so this dude was a true spirit created for vengeance. He said uh, he basically confessed to killing at least 17 women. Prostitutes, man, and he had a thing for them. and he was recording them. He was torturing them, he was recording them, man. You know? Somebody told me about this guy not too long ago and I had to look him up, man. That's a pretty interesting character, man. And he was recording some of these women he killed. He record them and make them. He would make them apologize to their children for being a basically for being a dirty hoe. You know, he would make them apologize to their children before he killed them. You know, and I'm gonna get straight into it, man. This is crazy, man. Well, it really ain't crazy, man. It's crazy, man. <laughs> hey, it's the Rock 39 to 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. So this man you see on your screen, he killed himself back in 2002 when he got caught. In which... He he got he he effed, he effed himself. That's how he got caught. You can go read the documentary for yourself. All you gotta do is look up Maury Travis. You know, look up Maury Travis. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And you see the things he was doing to these women. He was laying on sore strokes, man, cutting off heads, torturing them, doing all kind of shit, man, like all kind of shit, man, strangling them. Beating the hell out of them, raping them, you know. But first, he'll give them what they that, what they love, man. He'll give them that 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 their favorite demon, man, their favorite drug, which is that crack cocaine, man. You know, then he'll have sex with them, then he'll commence to uh, torturing them, man, and then killing them. You know, it says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And it says, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop it right there. He, hey, it might sound rough and raw, man, but he had the, basically the spirit of the Lord on him. But on the left-hand side, though, he was dishing out judgment on these wicked women, man, who were abandoning their children, going to go street walk and sell their body for crack cocaine, man. Not even for money, for crack. So these women were fiends. The word fiend, uh, which Elder Inops, first one I ever heard say this, man, the word fiend means demon. When you look up the word fiend, it means demon. So he was putting these women down, man. You know, so I'm just going to play a little bit of a snippet of this uh, documentary. Just a little bit, man, because this dude was a total spirit created for vengeance, man. Straight up. His tapes reveal he had an obsession haranguing the women over how they had abandoned their children for crack. I'm going to say something to your kids. <laughs> mama, sorry. Who raising your kids? Me and my mom and dad. You ain't raising shit. You on here in your back smoking crack. You ain't going home, mom. I'm going to keep you about a week. Later, he would establish Travis dragging a woman down the steps to his basement. There, he shot... Total on, Slocky. I'm going to say something to your kids. <laughs> mama, sorry. Who raising your kids? Me and my mom and dad. You ain't raising shit. You on here in your back smoking crack. 
You ain't going home, no. I'm gonna keep you about a week. Later, he would have stopped. That nigga wasn't playing no games. You know? He said, what you got to say to your kids? You want to apologize to your kids? For being a ratchet hoe? So, you women out there that think it's a game, there are millions of these men like Maury Travis out here walking around at work, your co-workers. You know? I heard he was a police officer, but that, 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 a former police officer, but I, I can't confirm that. I just started looking into his uh history. But uh there's millions of these men because society is breeding these dudes, man. Society is breeding that that rift, that hatred between men and women, that big gender divide, man, in the society, man. And who's the head of the society? The so called white man Esau Edom, so that's on him. You know? And when you read the scriptures, Deuteronomy 28, it tells you about how the eyes of our women are going to be evil towards the eyes of the men, and the eyes of the men are going to be evil towards the uh, women. You know? Women are going to be evil towards men, and men are going to be evil towards women. You know? But that's amongst the Israelite people, the Negro, Latin, and Native American, man. Those are the curses, a part of the curses that we are up under because of our sins, man. It's our punishment, you know? It's us being here on the shores of America going through hell up under these devils. That's our punishment, man. That's our curse. But we're at the tail end of our curse, you know? And um, so yeah, but society breeds this shit, man. You got child support court, you got you got all these laws that benefit women and just tear down men. And they may mainly destroy the slock and they're mainly designed to tear down the Jake man, the so-called black man. You know? You got women can just take a child from from the father, you know, and play games and the court will go right along with it. Go right along with it, drag that man through the mud, put him on child support, throw him in jail if he can't pay. You know? So, I was just watching a video with a dude just shot at his baby mama. She was trying to run him over. And you know it was over some dumb shit. So, the hatred is brewing, man. The scriptures say the love of many shall wax cold, man. You got a lot of these dudes out here now, man. A lot of these dudes batshit crazy in the head, man. Can't wait to get their hands on the uh, so-called victim. So you women keep playing your games. Keep being haughty. Keep being wicked. Y'all making everybody hate y'all, man. Y'all are breeding more and more Maury Travis's, man. And you got a lot of these men like Maury Travis's that grew up and saw the wickedness of his mother. The wickedness of his aunties, his female cousins. You know, which made him hate women. He had a he had a hatred for women who didn't take care of their kids, man. Who abandoned their kids for crack cocaine. And he was putting them down, man. You know, and I don't feel sorry for none of them women. None of them. And uh, I'm going to get this uh, Amos real quick. Amos 3. And I'm not condoning nothing that he did. I'm just saying. I don't feel sorry. And I'm doing a quick lesson on it, man. This is a lesson they'll never do for you in church, man. It's Amos 3 and 6. They're just blaming on the devil. Say, oh, oh that he had the devil in him. Nah. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? So, what he was doing was evil. The word evil means bad times, man. He was cutting off heads. He was doing all kind of shit, torturing, all kind of shit, man. He had run over their bodies after he dump them. After he dumped their body, he run them over with his truck or car or whatever. You know, letting bodies decompose in the basement or in the trunk of his car and all, <coughs> all kind of shit. That's evil. That's bad times. That's what the word evil means. Eve means times. Ill means, Ill means bad. You know? So those shut up be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it. So the Lord was controlling this man. The Lord was directing his steps. And this man committed suicide back in 2002 after he got caught or whatever. And he made a stupid mistake and got caught. And uh, he left a suicide note and he said, I don't know why. Ever since I've been like 14, I've always been sick in the head. Just real sick. I don't know why. 
The most I put it in the spirit to be like that, man. To dish out punishments, sore strokes, judgment upon wicked people, in particular wicked women, Israelite women, you know? And like I said, the society is breeding more and more of these dudes, man. Watch. Watch. It's going to manifest, man. Y'all think it's a game. You know? I never do no shit like this. I'm just saying. <coughs> you got women constantly dressing like sluts, all the ass cheeks hanging out, twerking on the internet, twerking everywhere, and then dissing men. And you got women that go out and dress slutty just to turn down dudes, man, and talk crazy to dudes. You don't think that's breeding some type of contempt within a lot of these dudes, man? <coughs> Slock you, man. <coughs> so, hey, man, it's just piling on, man. It's just piling on. And speaking on the topic of harlots, man, of, or whores, some of these whores are going to actually be saved, man. I will say that. Some of them are going to actually be saved. And I'll get a quick scripture from Yahweh Shai himself, man, Matthew 21. And Yahweh Shai, who is the man who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So lock it, man. Coughing and doing all this other man's 20, Matthew 21 and 31. It says, uh, Wherefore of them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him the first. Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom. The publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. So you're going to actually have some harlots who actually make it a, be saved up out of these last days, man, and make it to the kingdom, which will be on earth, kingdom of heaven, under the rule of Yahweh Shah, man. You know? So you actually have some harlots, man. Some of those women who basically out there selling, they se selling sex to take care of their kids, you know? Some of the women that genu genuinely have no other choice, like if you go down to South America, you see a lot of the women down there, they don't have many opportunities. So a lot of them sell sell their body, man, like in Brazil, Colombia, you know, uh, Central America, you know, Mexico. You got women that sell their body because they don't have really have a choice. And these women up here got opportunities. They just, they just want to be hoes, man. These women up here in America, North America. They just want to be hoes, man. So, now, I don't know if that scripture apply to them, but hey, the scripture says some hole is going to make it, so we'll see, man. But I, I believe that to be true. Why? Because I believe in the words of Yahweh Shah, man. I got faith in his words. I believe in our Savior, you know? And um, so this should be a message for you women, man. Y'all better, boy. Man, it's, it, it's going to get crazier and crazier. Watch. Watch, it's going to get crazier and crazier because everybody liked this dude. People who he went to work with, the woman he was with before he started killing these chicks, she was in love with him. He, She said he helped he helped him slock it. She said he helped her boost her self-esteem because she was strong out on drugs too. You know? She wanted to marry that dude. All the co-workers loved him, everybody. It's a nice guy, you know? So, you see how they can fly under the radar, man. <laughs> you see how those spirits can create, them spirits that are created for vengeance can fly up under the radar, man. Now, this is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye careless women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Careless, careless, careless. The most I keep calling you out careless, man. Careless daughters, man. The Lord said, rise up. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Exactly. This society is going to fail. All them goodies you're getting from the government, all the benefits you're getting from this government, they're going to fail. You know? All that feminism shit, that shit is failing drastically. Everybody against that shit now. Verse uh, 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, you careless ones. Strip ye and make ye bare. Gird sackcloth, sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teeth, teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy and the joyous city. 
I'm going to leave right there. The Lord said, rise up. Get it right, man. Yeah, I better start repenting and start dealing with one man and staying with that one man. You know, quit being a hoe. Quit being a demon. Quit being mischievous. Quit being haughty. Quit scamming people. Quit being a, a busybody and a troublemaker, man. Take care of your kids. How about that? You know, the Lord got the spirits of cre vengeance created out here, and he got a whole lot more than old Mr. Maury Travis. He got ones out here that's going to make, make Maury Travis look like child's play for real. Especially in these times, man. The Lord said it's going to be a time like no other time, man. You know, that's the type of shit we're coming into. I'm just doing, I'm just reporting on the news. And I'm just bringing some scriptures out, man. Speaking prophecy. And telling our people to repent. Especially our women, man. Y'all better pff, yeah, get all your guns. It don't matter, man. It don't matter. But all praises to y'all. Bashim Yom Shah. Bashim Rekakwa Dash. Shalom to the whole for elect. Kwam Yashala. Abba Baba.